Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. So I just spent the last day making a camera mount uh, for my QAV250. So this is a Lumineer 650 TVL or CM650. And uh, it's a really nice camera. I kind of bought it on a whim, I guess, uh, when I was building my QAV250. And I love that it has these mounting holes on the side. Uh, you can put a screw in there, you know, securely fashion it to something, fasten it to something. It's great, uh, great color, great transmission, easy to work with. You know, I really love the camera. However, this shape is really awkward. Um, it makes it very difficult to secure it to things. And uh, I was very unhappy. I tried using tape at first. I tried using foam, you know, just nothing really worked. Uh, so. What I did is I uh, took all of the measurements with a caliper and I created a mounting plate system. So this is the mounting plate that comes with the QAV250. This guy just slides right down in here like that. Oh, let me get it seated. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. And you know, the camera sticks through like so, right? So um, how are we gonna put the camera in there? Well, so here's, here's what I did. I made these 3D printed pieces and uh, these are the same piece. I've just printed it twice, okay? And if you look carefully, uh, one side, these little, these little nubs right here are a little bit rounded. So what you do is you just take the rounded part and you put it inward. See so, you know, how it's got these slots right here? Uh, you face it inward and you push. Okay, do the same on the other side. Face inward and push. Okay. Let me... um, having done that, it's pretty simple. All you do is take the camera and you put it, you put the little, uh, uh, screw holes on the sides in these slots. And what this does is it allows you to position the camera so that you can have an upward tilt, or you can have the camera level, or you can have a downward tilt. And it won't move because you put a screw in there and suddenly it's, it's secure. So these, these bars here keep the, the mount from pulling away from the front of the faceplate. The nubs keep it aligned vertically, and uh, it's just a nice little interference fit package, nice and simple. So now I will uh, put this screw on and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all assembled. Always awkward doing things on camera. Okay, that's one, I'll tighten that up in a second. That's two. One thing I have noticed is you have to be careful what kind of a screwdriver you use with these screws because they're very, they're very small. Um, okay, so uh, let's go with a, like a level position first, just to kind of prove that it can. Tighten up that one just a little more. There we go. You can get pretty much whatever tension you want there, just by tightening the screws a little bit more. And you know, if it's a little bit off when you crash, really no big deal, you just move it with your finger. So there we go. So now we've got a uh, level camera mount. And now let's say we wanna do a 30, like a 30 degree upward angle because that's what a lot of people fly with uh, to get some speed. So at this point, what I would do is I would just back off the screw, like a quarter turn, maybe a little less. Okay, and then that allows you to slide the camera up and down in this slot. And you can see when I slide it up, camera points down. When I slide it down, camera points up. So we'll just tighten that up on the lowest setting. So you can actually adjust this um, if you don't have the wrap on your QAV. You can adjust this while the mount is in the, uh, the QAV. I just, I'm not doing that because I'm making a video. 
So there, there it is pointing up. So let's, let's show how easy this is to install into the QAV250. Just take that. It is a little uh, harder to get it to fit in, but it's not horrible or anything. It's pretty easy. And then I will reattach my cables for my VTX. If I can find them, there we go. And reattach my cable for the camera. Okay. And reslot that on top. So that's, now I would just bolt everything down and that's pretty much as easy as it is. Kind of show it from the side here. There we go. There's our camera mounted. Little 30 degree upward angle. That way I can fly a little faster. Um, yeah, that's it. So, and you can actually get a little bit more tilt just by pushing it up if you want. Um, I'm not sure how much tilt you can get. I haven't measured it, but it's pretty cool. All right, so that's it. And uh, let's take it for a spin and see how it flies. As you can see, my flying is pretty terrible, but uh, hey, I, I like building parts for these things more than I like flying them, I think. Um, so there's a link to this product on uh, my createthis.com store if you want to download the digital STL file and print yourself out a copy. If you don't have a 3D printer, uh, you can still get one if you're in the United States by uh, sending me a contact us and I'll, I'll you know, we'll work it out. Uh, if you're outside the United States, I recommend you uh, grab the STL file if you're interested and uh, from the website createthis.com and look around for a free 3D printer. A lot of public libraries these days have 3D printers available for, uh, for free use. Sometimes you have to pay for materials, plastic, stuff like that. Um, and if you'd like any modifications, if you like this idea, but you'd like it for another platform or something, uh, you know, click the contact us link, createthis.com, and uh, maybe I can design something specially for you, but it probably won't be cheap because it takes a while. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. If you found this useful or, uh, you know, you just like me watching me make stuff, uh, please subscribe.